In this video, we're going to look at how to recover a lost or forgotten password in Primavera P6 when you are running the SQLite standalone database. So if you're seeing messages like this, you've forgotten your password, you can't log in anymore, you have two choices, and which choice or which option you choose depends on what was in that database. If it wasn't an important database, it was just something you were using as a sandbox for learning or for testing, then we can probably overwrite that and we can reset the password by overwriting the database. I'm going to show you that option first. And then we're going to assume that maybe there was something very important in there. You'd started developing a schedule. You want to you know, recover that database because there's a lot of time invested in it. In which case, the only way we can really access that is to nullify the password. So we can remove the password. We can't really reset it as such. I'm going to show you both techniques. To do this, we're going to click on this ellipse button here. And selecting my alias, the alias in question, which is pointing at my ppmdbsqlite.db file, which is in my documents folder. That is the database. I'm going to click on the configure button. And that opens this dialog and confirms my alias and the database type that I'm pointing at. So that's good. So I'm going to click Next. Here we say add a new standalone database and connection. So I'm just going to click that and click Next again. And now it allows me to add in my... It wants to know what password. So I enter and confirm a password there. And I'm going to write that down so I've got a record of that password so I don't lose it again. And then I'm going to click Next here. And here it's saying, okay, there's the alias name, that's the username, admin, and it's going to recreate this file, basically. It's going to regenerate this file, and it's going to load sample data while it's doing it. So I'm going to go with that option. It's going to want to know, if do I want to overwrite this? And it's at this point that I would lose my old data. So this is why you don't want to do this to a database that's got important information or data in it. Let's say yes. I'm OK to re overwrite, and it's done it, and the connection was successful. And if I click Finish here, and I select that database, and I type in my new password, and say OK, and it's you can see it's reset the database because it wants to know the appropriate industry, which is always the first question P6 asks you when you create a new database. I want to say OK to that. That'll open P6, and I can just quickly go into Admin, Preferences, industry and select in this case the engineering and construction industry and close that and that's done now we're ready to go i have a brand new database my password's restored and i will log in using that new password from here on out now let's say that i've lost my password and uh, i have important information in the database the approach is very different i'm going to use a third party tool here called sqlite spy uh, this particular one is very simple to use and allows me to execute SQL statements against my PPM DB SQLite database. So I'm going to go to the file menu. You can download this is freeware. You can download this. We've placed a link for you on the article page so you can download the SQLite spy. File, open database. And there's the database file right there in my documents folder. All right, so I'm going to click on that and uh, select it. And what that does, you can see here, it's opened all the tables in the database. You can see that there. And then we're going to add a piece of SQL here that will update this table in the database. So I'm going to click on here and Control V pastes in my command. And here you see update users users being this, the table I mentioned, users being this, and set the password equal to null. So that's going to kill whatever password was in there where the username is equal to admin. And I'm going to execute that here using the execute dropdown and execute SQL, and that will kill the password. Now, that was an encrypted password, so I can't use this to enter a new password. It won't make any sense to... to P6. This killed the password. Now the only problem, let, let's test this now. I'm going to minimize. In fact, I'm going to close this database so this doesn't keep a, a, a lock on the database file. And then I'm going to go back to my P6 dialog here 
And now I'm going to I'm going to log in. I was the, I did it to the same database, so I should be able to log in without a password. And that does seem to have worked and I'm now in, but I now have no password and because this is single user, I have no user options under the admin menu where that, that allow me to go in and set a new password. So I'm now running without a password. Okay. So there you have it. That's two options you have. Either to rebuild the database or to nullify your existing password to access a database that had some important data already in it that you didn't want to lose. Anyway, hope that was helpful, folks.